Hey guys, I'm back. In the last part, we have gone through Rikimura's story mode. However, that was one of three endings for Rikimura's tale. And uh, in the last part, we have gone through what I like to call it the alternate method of Osaka. And now, we're going to go through what I like to call it the uh, historical method of Osaka. So, let's jump right into it. Also, in the last part, we unlocked Shingen Takeda and Magoichi Saika. If you're trying to unlock Magoichi, all you have to do is complete any story mode once. If you're trying to unlock Shingen, all you have to do is complete Yukimura's story once. So, we got those two characters. Also, when you complete any story mode, this applies to any character, you will unlock a uh, second costume or model. So, I will be using that second model for this story mode run. So, here we go. Also note for the fact that you are, well in my case, I am going through the story mode again. I have to go back and pick the battle of Kawanakajima instead of just jumping right into it. Since uh, it's technically a repeat. So, let's do it. keeps the enemy busy. Yukimura will lead a secondary force to strike Kenshin from behind at Mount Saijo Summit, forcing him to flee directly towards our main force below. Thus, a pincer is formed to squeeze the life out of the enemy. The plan is all set. Alright, so we're back here at the Battle of Kawa Nakajima. And uh, first things first, the story. You know, already know it. So, Shigen Takeda, the Tiger of Kai, invaded the neighboring FIFA Shinano in an effort to expand its power. The warlords in Shinano knew there were no match for the Takeda army, and thus enlisted the aid of Kenshin Uesugi, the Dragon of Eshigo. Kenshin vowed to oppose Shingen and led his massive army towards Kawanakajima and Shinano. Shingen mobilized his forces as well and came face to face with the Uusugi army and camped atop Mount Saijo. Alright, so it's pretty much the same thing for the fact that I'm going through all five stages again. It's pretty much going to be the same thing, but I'm going to go through it anyways. So, the uh, equipment the weapon I have, or in the last part, I unlocked the uh, fourth tier weapon. So we're gonna go with that, obviously. Uh, Koyuga. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, so uh, I do apologize in advance. <laughs> Anyways, items. Uh, I'll leave it like that. The bodyguards, I'll keep it like that. You already know the objectives. We have to defeat Kenshin to win. If Shingen falls, if I die, or if the time runs out, we lose. So, when it comes to the unit info, I'll go through it again briefly. So, we have Shingen with Yoshinobu and Masakage, Yukimura with Kunoichi, Nobushige, Masatane with Nobukado. Nobufasa with Nobukimi and Masatoyo. Kansuke and Masanobu. Or if you want me to go in detail, Shingen Takeda with Yoshinobu Takeda and Masake Kage uh, Yamagata. Yukimura Sanada, which is me, and Kunoichi. Also note when you pick your second model, the profile or the uh, face picture is actually different as well. So, a little nice touch in my opinion. 
Nobushige Takeda, Masetana Hara with Nobukado Takeda, Nobufasa Baba with Nobukimi Aniyama and Masatoyo Nato, Kansuke Yamamoto, and Masanobu Kosaka with Nobushige Oimata. So, that's the Takeda army. The uh, Uesugi army, we have Kenshin Uesugi with, well, he has no offices. Uh, Kagenobu Uesugi with Takahiro Kitacho. Kajuye Kakizaki, Yoshikiyo Murakami with Masashige Jojo. Kagesuna Nawe, Shigenaga Honjo, Sadamitsu Usami, and Katsunaga Robi. So, enough of that. Let's do it. Alright, so for the fact that I am actually going through the stage with my fourth tier weapon, uh, it might be a little quicker than uh, normal, but... I do know that there is a curve. The higher the rank, the more uh, difficult the enemies will be. So I gotta keep that in mind as well. But that's slightly for the fact that this is indeed on normal still. I'm not gonna try to adjust the difficulty like I did in Dynasty Warriors 4. Or I'm gonna be probably gonna be doing what I did with Dynasty Warriors 3. And I was pretty much keeping the difficulty close to the same the entire time but uh let's see how it goes if it becomes too easy then i'll probably increase the difficulty but i don't want to overkill it especially for the fact that we're going to go through osaka completing every mission in the stage well every mission that comes along the way and you already know how that's going to work anyways so, we're going to launch a sneak attack. I really haven't gone through the uh, missions in this stage, so I'm going to do that here. But I was talking about the basics of the uh, game, so I know I wasn't really going through the missions as much. So we're going to head over to where Uesugi is, or where he should be, but he's not. But once we enter the doors here, we won't be able to see the map. This looks like a job for me. However, I think I mentioned it. If I haven't yet, I definitely will now. If you recall, and I know, like I said before, I will be comparing the two games because basically Dynasty Warriors 3 and 4 are two of the big projects I've done. So, if you get lost in the stone sentinel maze or if you get lost in the fog or something like that I know in future games you will only be able to see the zoomed in map and not the overall map or in some cases you won't be able to see a map at all so for the fact that we have this your zoom in map is pretty much literally a zoomed in map so when you turn the map will not turn, so it will be a lot easier, in my case personally, for me to memorize the map, because whenever I turn, the map will still stay in place, unlike in Dynasty Warriors, when you turn, the overall map will turn, and it could be possibly easy to get lost if you have that small map and just that map, but I know in some cases, you won't, you actually will be lucky to even have a map, so, uh, yeah, anyways. We're getting close to the mountaintop, so just bear with me. Alright, we're here. But as you already know, uh, Kenshin isn't here. The Uesugi army is moving. Yay! No, it is too early for the pincer to have worked. 
Making this easy, are you? Impressive, Kenshi. Oh no, the main camp is in danger. All units <laughs> retreat. <laughs> So far, so good. Damn. Got 11 out of that one. I'll tell you, those Musu KOs will definitely help when it comes to uh, skill points for sure. Well, here goes Kenshin. Enjoy this battle more, Nemesis. Yeah, maybe we should head back. What do you say to this, Nemesis? They are using the wheel formation. Let us counter with a clean formation. All right, now a hero. This could be a challenge. I'm sorry, Nobushige. This is my fault. Enemy officer defeated. That is not the, the worst. All right. Result, considering your skill. Yeah, let's head up there. Meet again, Nemesis. Yeah, that was close. Enemy but there's no real uh, defeat conditions about them taking over the main camp. Unless that was actually Shingen. Naga's down. Yeah, we're fucking crushing the Musu, uh... The Musu KO count. Some 
Alright, now. Shikinaga Honjo. He's down. Like I said, for the fact that this is the first stage and I have the fourth tier weapon, it's going to be a little bit easier. But, um. Also, I will mention it as well. If you're trying to. If you're playing this on your spare time and not do what I'm doing, I'm not going to question a walkthrough, but. When it comes to trying to get the rest of the stages and endings and all that, you could just jump right into that stage. In this case, if I really wanted to, I could just go right to Osaka and take care of that stage. But, you know what? For the fact that I really want to treat each ending like its own storyline, I'm going to be doing it that way. Plus, it doesn't hurt to have that many parts. I mean, for fuck's sakes, I did what? 373 parts of Dynasty Warriors 3 and 467 parts of Dynasty Warriors 4. I'm not even counting my little smaller projects like Sonic and Crash and all that, but those are nothing in comparison to this, obviously. But, um, anyways, this should be oh, it's just Kenshin. All right. You know what? Might as well go for him. He's right here. And I'm not going to stall like last time. I should have secured those two gates, but you know what? That's fine. I think that's Kunoichi down in the bottom left corner there. Yeah, let's uh, secure the gate first. Or have the reserve uh, captain clash. Clapton. He's down. Fortune was not with us. My spear shall know no defeat. And that's a win. All right. So that's another part down. That took us 11 minutes and 37 seconds. Not bad. Items, I, I'm doubting I'm getting anything good. So, I'll just discard everything. Alright, so we got a better demon staff. And we also unlocked the Kappa Amulet. Or if you want to compare it to Dynasty Warriors. The 7 Star Sash. So, that increases your luck. So you'll be able to get better items. I have a better chance at getting better items and uh, that will help out tremendously well for the fact that it's plus four not as much but for the fact that we have it it's good to have every item like that I'm trying to find every item and not miss on anything so for the fact that I got two new items that and the solo gem or if you want to compare it to Dynasty Warriors to Peacock Urn um that will help. Anyways, here's a point for, for the uh, bodyguards. That. So we got that. Now for the experience points. Okay. Not half bad. We got a B 
rating in Musukeo, so I'm personally okay with that. But I did lack the uh, item experience bonus. I did miss out on a few uh, gates, but that's fine. So, did we max anything else out yet? Not just yet. And I still have 520 more skill points I could use, but... I don't think it's necessary right now. Uh, did I... I'm trying to remember if I unlocked that. I don't think I did. So, I'll bring that up. We got another skill. I said it before and I'll say it again. With these skill trees and all that, you're pretty much going to be getting the same thing for each character. The only difference is when these skills will pop up. Um, and how, well, the skill point requirements are the same. It's just a matter of when these skills pop up. Uh, the only other skill that you won't see here that is a actual skill is the double jump. But only three different characters can actually double jump. But I'll bring up that when I get to those characters. So, anyways, obviously Yukimura is not one of them. So, we unlocked... Uh, Another skill called Pressure, which is basically, I'm pretty sure I have said it before, but something tells me I don't unlock this already, but I'll bring it up again. Um, if you manage to win a Clash outright, and uh, when you do that, you will actually perform some type of counterattack on top of that, and... Uh, That, uh, that's basically the skill. So, the higher the level, the more damage you'll deal towards the enemy after winning that deadlock outright. So, we have that. I mentioned Frenzy. I mentioned Rally. Oh. This one I didn't mention, so I did say something along the lines of, if I recall, but um, this skill, if you fall and you're in red health, you'll be able to increase your speed for a set period of time. But note, um, I don't know exactly where, it's been a while, but... There is a skill called Grace. So if you have Grace unlocked and you have Fortitude, Frenzy, and Celerity, I don't know if I'm saying that right, bear with me. Um, you don't want to have Grace activated when you have Celerity, Fortitude, and Frenzy activated because you're pretty much negating the effects because you need to be on the floor and get back up to trigger them and with grace you automatically do a somersault to uh, get back up and you know you can actually do somersaults to get back up manually so what's really the point but anyways I think that's everything that is new for now so we're done here we'll save and there you have it you haven't watched my gaming adventures featuring dynasty of oh, samurai warrior i i knew i was gonna fuck that up in some way shape or form down the road but anyways you haven't watched my gaming adventures featuring samurai warriors and i'll see you in the next part where we will go and go through the next stage, which is the battle of uh, Mikitagahara. So, that being said, peace out.